Hello everyone, Eileen here. It's the weekend and I've got another couple of Lavinia Stamps video tutorials to share with you today. One today and one tomorrow. Today's uh, tutorial features the absolutely gorgeous Magnus. He's a fairly new arrival in the Lavinia Stamps catalogue and uh, just right for Christmas. So let's get going. Um, I'll just show you these. I, I stamped Magnus in blue on this one, but on this one I stamped him in black and actually I prefer the black to the blue. So this is the one that I'm going to show you today. I've got a piece of cardstock, multifarious, A4 sheet. I've cut it in, I folded it, creased it and cut it to 13 centimetres by 13 centimetres and I think that's just a smidgen over 5 inches by 5 inches. Piece of copy paper and I'm tenfold with my card but obviously you can do it the other way. And I'm using a, a stencil called Buds first. Lavinia Stamps Buds, absolutely gorgeous stencil. There's some new stencils out, they're on the website. Haven't got mine yet, <clears throat> but I'm hoping it won't be too long. So I'm looking forward to playing with those. Just checking the cameras in shot, okay. Yeah, not too bad. Right, I'm using Oxides, Faded Jeans and Speckled Egg. I love the blues. I'm also using a normal Distress Ink, but more about that in a moment. And I'm also using a makeup brush. Now these gold back brushes I use for dedicated only to oxide inks so that I can tell quickly that they are only to be used for those. Distress inks are very forgiving. They don't mind a little bit of contamination. You can quickly clean them off. But oxide inks, oh no, they don't like contamination at all. So I make sure that I keep their colours, integrity, um, great so that I don't mix the colours and also I never let any other ink go near my uh, oxide ink pad so that's why dedicated makeup brushes just for oxides. Starting off with faded jeans. Pop that down there a bit. Starting at the bottom and not too heavy handed with the ink circular motion about a halfway to the card to the middle staying away from the left hand side but going right over to the right hand side and up the card re-ink a bit but not too much pressure and I'm just skimming over the surface as I go further up so I get that washed out faded look that I'm after so heavier pressure at the bottom to bring the colour back up so it's deeper and then very lightly skimming over the surface to give you the more washed out look. Now I'm going for a speckled egg but before I do that I'm using the same brush because it's a blue tone but I'm just going to take off the residue of the faded jeans onto some textured kitchen towel. I never wash these brushes even with oxide inks and speckled egg which is a very wet pad so I want to be careful and I'm just going up keeping away from the left hand side of the card still but I'm going up almost to the top and over the faded jeans keeping one space for faded jeans so that it's got its own identity and then lifting that up to have a look and I think that will do. Pop the lids back on and now to the distressing wild honey and change my brush and I'm going on to a sweet poppy stencil makeup brush now and this is what I use for my orange tones and the stencil I'm using now again from Lavinia Stamps called Foliage really pretty very delicate stencil popping it over the top 
and then just with a circular motion going up right to the top of the card and then right over to the left hand side but not too far up so want a lot of white space in that area and a bit more at the bottom let's have a look and that will do me so I've got two layers of stencil on there turn that over now I've got ink now on that top well, let's get rid of that I've got my eraser it's a sand eraser from mono uh, Tombow mono sand eraser and that should take that out got a brush to get rid of the it does remove some of the nap from your card, but it doesn't necessarily do a lot of damage, this eraser. It just gets rid of the ink for me, which is what I'm after. Otherwise, I'd have to start again because my eye would be totally drawn to this bare bit of ink that's floating around and driving me mad. <laughs> I think that will do me. I think we'll get away with that. Just in case you're not familiar, because I do use this all the time because I'm always getting ink over my cards. It's a Tombow Mono Sand Eraser and the code number of it is 512A and it's for ink. I think that the 512A covers typewriters as well. Typewriter ink, presumably. Okie dokie. Let's go for that. Next, I'm going to put on the beautiful Magnus. So I've got a stamping mat. It's not my large one, as you can see, it's a smaller one. I'm too lazy to get up and get the large one out. And he's already on the block. And I'm looking for VersaFine nocturne ink pad which i know i had <laughs> close by and there it is no that's not it oh that's silly i i've just got out a brand new ink pad and i've popped it down and now i can't find it oh hiding behind my card. Does that happen to you? Sure it does. <sighs> anyway, there we go. Brand new ink pad, because he's a really solid image and I wanted to make sure that he's lovely and opaque. Gentle tapping because it's so inky, this pad. Oh, it's very inky, in fact. A few stray bits of ink where I don't want them to be so I'll just pop those off you can use your stamping platform for this if you wish and there is around about the middle of the card and about just over half an inch up from the bottom down we go and I'm going to stand up pressing firmly down and up gorgeous image you will be able to see some of the stenciling texture underneath through his body that's fine it adds to it it's not a problem I've got one little white spot there and another one there I don't know why a bit of dust on the stamp maybe anyway that's gone next is oh yes I want to ground him and I've got uh, a textured stamp here that I've had for a long time from Lavinia stamps I don't know if they still do this. I think this is in a set with some fishes and a seahorse and a crab. I believe it is. I'm not sure. Please forgive me if I'm giving you the wrong information. But it's just a load of pebbles. And it's ideal for just popping under his hooves. I mean, obviously, the pebbles are dots. So if you haven't got a stamp like this, you can just sort of dot around his hooves. Black Nocturne again but I'm going to take off 
the first generation and just pop it over his hooves not pressing too heavily about four times so that it appears he's standing on them pop that down there and then I've got a couple of polychromous pencils one of them is Payne's grey and the other one is a paler grey uh, it's called warm grey and I'm just going to put in some lines to join some of these dots up under his hooves so it looks a little bit more solid when you're using a crayon if you hold the crayon right at the very end you'll get blended uh, look far more easily than if you get right up close you get the harsh pencil lines so I'm using right to the very edge just to get a blended circular motion underneath his hooves so that one and this one I'm not going to do all of these because it will be too solid and I don't want that I want it to look if he's standing on pebbles and then with the Payne's grey again holding the pencil right to the edge the circular motion just to blend it in under his hooves and if you overdo it if you get too many lines and you don't like the look or the colour then obviously as it's a pencil you can use the eraser to get rid of it that's why I like them rather than using a wet medium paint or something so that's that that will do I think bit harsh there so get the old eraser and just remove a bit of that and it blends it in a bit more and you just sort of keep adding pencil and rubbing it out until you get the look that you like gives me control and that's uh, that's what I'm aiming for now next is snowflakes now these are different snowflakes because they're black <laughs> I just like the drama <laughs> so this is a little pound set from Lavinia stamps you get three and there's a large one a sort of medium one and then a small one I'm using the, the large and the small one for this so starting off with the largest and black nocturne again gentle tapping remember this is a very wet pad so I want to be careful keep it away from the fingers as well and I'm gonna, I want him to he's looking up up at the snowflakes obviously so that's one take that off and then the very small one is next wipe off the surplus ink here keep my fingers out of the way and then I've got one here and then again the same small stamp again and I'm just coming down a little bit more now like so and then finally oh two things to do <clears throat> the wild honey you need back and I'm using a beautiful tech stamp which is relatively new again to Lavinia stamps is one of the Tracy's new releases and it's called snow falling I think this is called yes snow falling So I'm, I'm going to ink it up in the orange wild honey to match the orange tones of the stencil and being because it's distressing I'm using first generation so it's uh, not a problem because it's not so opaque it's transparent ink so it won't be so overpowering I want to get it straight though not all of the text is going on the stamp is slightly off to one side and then down again and even less of the text is going on so I'm altering the widths of the stamped image right the way through the card stop down <clears throat> excuse me on the right hand side now I am going to go second generation with this 
so a bit more of the stamp on there now and then pressing a little bit heavier there so you can still see the text the only problem is you can't read it <laughs> but I'm just looking for a textured look <laughs> so then a final bit of um, the stamp text down here um, move it over again I think and press and that's that okay now the final thing to do is just to give him some snow but I don't want to cover his body so I'm going to tear some copy paper just to cover up the main body of Magnus he's such a handsome chappy I don't want to wreck him and I'm looking for my perfect layers my Posca white paint pen and this is a um, bullet shape tip 0 0.7 millimeters give it a good shake I'm using part of my perfect layers because they're heavier than a normal ruler unless of course you've got a metal ruler <laughs> and I'm just going to give it a good whacking now very generous very generous with the snow today oh it's Christmas isn't it or oh, it will be remove the piece of paper so that Magnus is left undisturbed get my white card out to show you and there he is all done I don't think I've forgotten anything oh yes I have I don't I always do don't try I've got a gold pen here and I'm just going to draw a few lines down the down the uh, side of some of the stamped uh, sorry stenciled image like so not all of them two reasons for that one I don't want to cover them all and two it's a bit boring so <laughs> I get fed up and I stop then so it just highlights a few of them of the shapes and it just throws them throws them out which I like because it gives a bit of a sparkle this is a gold sparkle pen it's Uniball Mitsubishi pencil Uniball Signio Signio Signo, anyway, you know, Uniball, it's lovely, and it's gold sparkles. Right, thank you so much for joining me today. See what a difference an ink pad makes. That's a new ink pad, so he's far more opaque in that one. And that's the same colour, same brand, but the pad is older. Needs re-inking, and you can definitely see the difference. So I'm going to put him in front because I think he's better on that one. Have a lovely Saturday. I'm off to watch the Bahrain Grand Prix qualifying and then it's the Bahrain Grand Prix tomorrow. So my weekend is sorted. Oh, yes. But I will be back tomorrow with another Lavinia Stamps tutorial for you. Thanks ever so much. See you again soon. Bye for now.